Hello, it's Kathy with Kathy's Country Goodness here to bring you a three ingredient cookie. Uh, I have to give kudos to KirbyCraving.com. She uh, has a website that, and she actually emails you recipes that are only three, sometimes only two, two ingredients, two, three, four ingredients. So, you know, I like to keep it simple and I like to keep it locale and Today, I was like craving something sweet and I wasn't quite sure, so I looked her up and I'm like, you know what, I've got everything for this. Uh, I pre-measured everything out, but I will give you the measurements. The three ingredients is chocolate chips, and I'm using the mini ones, uh, oats, I think instant, but to be honest with you, I don't know what this container is, but this is what I'm using. And one cup of mashed mayonnaise. I mean, I'm sorry, mashed bananas. So that's it. I mean, you can't get simpler than that, right? Okay, so I already have, it's one and a quarter cup of oats and I already have them in the bowl. Then you incorporate your bananas. Put that in there. And then uh, she just says, to take a spatula and make sure that it is really incorporated. That you get all of that oats coated with the banana mixture. Now, she also says, and I've never tasted these before, so I don't know, that it's gonna taste very banana-y, that it really isn't gonna taste like an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie, chocolate cookie, but um, it'll taste like almost like banana bread, but with kind of a chewy oat texture. And I'm okay with that. Uh, it's supposed to make 16 cookies, and each one comes in at 63 calories, or 69, I think. Um, and now I gotta tell you, her recipe calls for a half a cup of chocolate chips and I have many and I think that's plenty. I only used a quarter of a cup. I didn't use the whole half. So if you want to incorporate the whole half of chocolate chips, use the regular size semi-sweet chocolate chips, but these are the tiny little mini ones. And so I, I don't know. I mean, I did pre-make a mix and I haven't tasted the cookie yet though, but it looked like a quarter of a cup is going to be plenty. So we're going to pour that in and then we just mix it all together. Can't get simpler than that, right? Okay. So let me show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Okay, this is supposed to make 16. Now, I don't know if it's gonna make 16. I'm using this type of scoop. She says one and a half teaspoons. So I don't know what this is. I know I didn't measure it, but it was the smallest scoop that I had. Okay, I have my um, parchment paper lined sheet. And then we're just gonna scoop some out. She says one and a half inches apart from each other. Uh, when I say she, I mean, you know, her website. Cravings. I already forgot what it's called. She sends me these things every week. KirbyCraving.com. Kirby with a K. And it ends in an I. I used to live off of Kirby Road and it was in a Y. This is Kirby. K-I-R-B-I. Oh, that one has a lot of chocolate chips in it. Maybe I need to stir a little bit better. So, there's a lot going on here in Income, Idaho. Um, we got rain all day today, which is good for my new tomato plants that I just planted. It's supposed to be really nice um, all week, though, like up until the 80s. I mean, honestly, less than a week ago, it was snowing here. So, the fact that it's supposed to get up to 80, I think 85, is pretty ga gosh darn exciting for me. I'm from Southern California, so I like the sun. You know, I love this weather though. But I, I do, you know, I'm used to the sun. I don't know if I love it, but I'm used to it. One of the things I noticed about Idahoans, if that's how you say it, Idaho people, is, um, they look so young for their age, and I think it's because of the lack of sun, right? And they, a lot of them don't drink caffeine, or they're, you know, they're just healthy people. And 
Okay, what do I have here? I have 12, but I also have, I have some more left over. So I might get another four out of there. I'm gonna throw this away, hold on a second. Okay, so we got rain, and it's been raining for spring. You know, this is spring, right? So it's rained probably two or three times a week, at least twice a week, ever since spring started. I mean, ever since, well, May. If it wasn't, if it did, wasn't rain, it could have been snowing because it snowed. Like I said, May 31st, it was snowing. So not enough to stick to the ground, but it was snowing. So um, my weeds, and I have five acres here, are like, you know, gosh, they come up to my waist. So I hired a... Uh, somebody with a tractor who's gonna come over this week and mow all those down. So I'm excited about that. Okay, so magic of television. We are going to put this in a 350 oven, right? For 16 minutes. Oh wait, you know what? I forgot one important step. One important step. I'm sorry, guys. You need to, um, with your palm of your hand, you need to smash them down. I'm not sure why, but that's what she says. I don't think that they spread, right? So this is it. This is your spreading them. I mean, there's no like, you know, baking soda or anything, so we're good. Okay, so we're gonna put it in here. Set the timer for 60 minutes. And then, because I'm learning how to do this, we have magically have more made. <laughs> and this is how they turned out. I'm so excited. So I'll taste it and I'll let you know. I'm expecting it to taste like bananas with chocolate. <laughs> kind of like those chewy granola bars. You know, have you ever had that? The oats with the chewy chocolate. Those are my favorite. All right. So they do. They bake up pretty good. They're brown on the, on the bottom. And they're small. They're tiny. But I'll taste it and let you know. They're good. So they're chewy on the inside for sure. And then they're crunchy on the out. So they baked really well on the outside. I mean, I'm not gonna say they're raw on the inside. They're cooked and they're warm. Cause they, you know, it said cool them down. So they've been cooling down for 20 minutes probably. And I think this is good with a cup of coffee, 63 calories. So I hope you guys give it a try. Um, if you like my recipes, subscribe. <laughs> that would be nice. And you can hop over to um, my Facebook page, which is also Kathy's. Kathy with a K. Country goodness. Um, Facebook page. And I will post I will post this little video and with the recipe. So you can actually see the recipe typed out so you remember it. So anyways, thank you so much for joining. And oh, one more thing. The leftover banana peels. I don't know if you guys know to do this. They say, because of all the potassium in the bananas, soak them in water, which I put these in today. And I'll probably let them soak all till tomorrow morning. And then water your tomato plants with them. I planted tomato plants a couple days ago. So I will take this and I'll water my tomato plants and hopefully I'll get lots of beautiful tomatoes. Don't let them go to waste. All right, have a good rest of your day. Thank you.